Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 4 Seasons. Alrighty, so we are back with Clara today and we are actually having coffee with somebody we haven't seen in a hot minute and I will tell y'all who that is in just a second, but real quick, I do want to clarify something that I feel like I haven't done a proper good job at clarifying in the previous parts when it comes to like Clara. I know some of you are like, no, I feel bad for Stevie. Like I can't believe, you know, that Wyatt and Clara have these feelings for each other. And y'all kind of just know it's probably going to end up hurting Stevie. And then y'all are probably mad at Claire because I mean, Scott's a good guy. And it just kind of seems like Wyatt and Clara are stringing you know, these people along when they, they know that they just have feelings for each other. But let me make it clear to you guys that Clara, okay, let me, well, real quick, let me just go ahead and show you. We are actually having coffee with our ex-boyfriend Bradley. We haven't seen him since after their breakup, um, probably like one or two parts into this LP. Um, it, they did not, you know, call each other and plan this meetup. They were actually out shopping. They were both shopping for the holidays. Tomorrow is Winterfest. And, of course, you know, Clara's, you know, having everybody over for dinner. And, um, you know, so she had to go shopping and everything. And so, anyway, they just kind of, like, ran into each other or whatever. And he was like, well, you know. <laughs> I was actually about to go get me some coffee. Would you, you know, like to join me? And she was no. like, yeah, of course. Because, okay, look. Recap for those of you who haven't been with us since the beginning of this LP. Bradley is Clara's ex-boyfriend, right? And Clara and him have been together. Well, they had been together, my bad. For a very long time, they were like high school sweethearts. They were like the OTP. Everybody thought that they were going to get married. You know, he's just like a very successful and orient career-oriented person. And it looks like they're like shoveling snow inside the building. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, what ended up happening? was uh, Clara's mother fell ill and she had to spend a lot of time you know taking care of her mother and you know all of the stress really got to her she started to gain weight she became like obsessed with like gardening and stuff because it just kind of like eased her mind Bradley lives in the city he didn't want to you know move it you know back to Brittleton Bay he was just kind of very selfish like very selfish when it came to Clara and he was kind of not happy with her gaining weight and they had a lot of problems and so they ended up breaking up, which probably was the best thing for Clara. Um, but on the, on the good side, Bradley did, you know, apologize to her, you know. And, um, you know, he told her, you know, I'm sorry. I was very, very selfish uh, when it was, when it came to our relationship. And I, I want to apologize for that. And so anyways, they're good. They, you know, left the relationship as, you know, not really friends, but on good terms. So when they ran into each other, it wasn't weird or anything. And it's not weird for them to, you know, have coffee and everything because, you know, they're, they're friends. It's been a minute. They don't have feelings for each other. It's good. So anyway, she actually asked him, you know, well, tomorrow, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm just, you know, hanging out with family. She's like, well, are you seeing anybody? And uh, he's like, well, I've been, I've been, you know, dating here and there, but nothing serious. And she's like, well, I don't ask because I'm interested. Let's get that straight. But I'm, I'm asking because it'd be nice if you, you know, came by the house for Winterfest, you know, like old times. You know, even if you just stopped by for a few minutes. And he's like, yeah, you know, I might do that. I might show up. It was really good seeing you. So let's give him a hug. Um, can we do that? Are we friends? Can we give him a hug? I think we can. Yeah, let's give him a hug. Bye. And I want to kind of um, explain myself when it comes to Clara and Wyatt. Because like I was trying to say, I feel like I haven't done a good job. So I'm trying to explain to you guys why Clara is so emotionally just in a mix-up. So I'm going to have her go on home. Looks like Carter is home. And he brought us home $600, which is good. Because she has spent a lot of money shopping today. But anyways, y'all. Like I've been trying to say, obviously, she was in a very serious relationship at one point with Bradley. And I had mentioned at the beginning of this LP that Wyatt is Carter's best friend from college. And that Claire actually had only met him once or twice prior to moving in with them. Um, she always thought he was, you know, so attractive. But, you know, his mother, their mother their mother, <laughs> was ill for a very long time. You know, she, you know, had cancer or whatever. And, um, 
so it was a very slow slow illness um and unfortunately it, it took her life but anyways Claire was depressed for a long time like I said she had gained weight and she was unhappy in her relationship and then when she would come home and she would see Carter and she would see Wyatt Wyatt obviously is like perfect the definition of perfect <laughs> uh so she was always kind of like had like this low-key crush on him like you know he made her happy. He genuinely, like, cared what she had to say. He talked to her. Um, they wasn't, like, really friends until, you know, they moved in with each other. But, you know, she always respected him. Always kind of had, like, the, these feelings. It was, it was this unexplainable, like, closeness to him. Kind of like, you know, she, she knew she could talk to him and that he'd be there for her. So, anyways, that is where it all started okay it didn't start just recently when oh he got stevie pregnant and now clara realizes she has feelings for him no she kind of always has had feelings for him she genuinely feels like he is the only one that that gets her and accepts her for who she is um and it's hard to find so she promised that like i said in the last part she's going to be true to herself no matter what no matter how hard it is um and, of course, she's not going to stand in the way of their relationship, but she can't pursue another relationship when she has these feelings for Wyatt. So, anyways, that is what uh, I needed to get off my chest. I wanted to explain that, make sure you guys understood that it's not like her just, oh, wanting what you can't have, because that's not it at all. Um, but... Anyways, she did invite over Scott tomorrow, too, so we have... <laughs> Three love interests, or ex-love interests, whatever you want to call them, coming together for our Winterfest dinner, which is going to be interesting to say the least, but, but I think it'll be good, I think it'll be good, so, anyway, she's giving Carter a hug, they haven't really had a lot of, you know, time to catch up and chat because of work and everything, and, you know, Carter does kind of know a little bit of, you know, the, the situation and the feelings between, you know, Claire and Wyatt, and he doesn't like to bring it up because Claire doesn't like talking about it with her brother, she just thinks it's kind of awkward, <laughs> so, yeah, that's where, that's where we're standing here, but let's get some leftovers, I think we have enough chili, that way we don't have to cook tonight, that'll be good because tomorrow's Winterfest, and we are going to be cooking a big meal but anyways i'm going to let her eat and have them you know just kind of chill out around the house make sure you know everything's decorated everything looks good for tomorrow because our dinner starts at 5 p.m so i think they both have the day off tomorrow i think um isn't Winterfest off the day off from school and work maybe not okay it looks like he does have to work hmm <laughs> We may have him take the day off. I don't know. But um, I'm going to play through and uh, let them just kind of like chill and get everything ready. And then I will see y'all at our Winterfest dinner. Uh, hopefully, crap doesn't hit the fan, y'all. I'm not ready for it. Oh, no. <sighs> Sophia Braswell is calling him. Hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me for dinner at Bamboo Walk. <clears throat> Well, I was not expecting this, okay, but, but we're gonna go, we're going, we're going, no, you know it, you know we're going, because he hasn't really spoken to her since she rejected him, he found out through the grapevine that she is living with her baby daddy, Dalton's father, and you know what, honestly, he's just interested to see what she has to say, so let's go find out. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized is that they're technically, are they still in a relationship? Oh my god, they're still in a relationship. <laughs> they never broke up, right? Remember, he, re she rejected him, and, uh, and they, uh, <laughs> they never broke up. But anyways, um, <laughs> let's just pretend, or actually, we'll, we'll just get a drink. We, we're not hungry, but, you know, we'll come, and we'll have a, we'll have a little drink and we're gonna break up because uh, we know that they're broke up i mean obviously she rejected him they're gonna they're gonna be broken up but we didn't officially do it so that's what we gotta do that's why she's calling him and asking him out on a date awkward but anyways yeah let's get to the bottom of this and see what she has to say all right so he just got some coffee and i think it's time that we just kind of like have this chat and like talk so 
you know what, I think we need to, you know, ask about her day and just kind of ask her how things are going, how's Dalton, and she's like, you know, Snow has been pretty rough, but other than that, you know, we're good. How how are you? And he's like, well, you know, considering uh, I got rejected, uh, I guess I'm doing all right. And uh, unfortunately, they're both feeling, like, very flirty right now, which uh, I don't know. I think we're going to have to, like, do, like, a clean break. Um asked to be just friends um i wanted to like break up but he's kind of just like telling her you look i, I want to move on sophia it's been hard for me you can't be calling me <laughs> and asking me to come eat with you and she's like i know i'm sorry um i just i wanted to talk to you i really do and wyatt's calling him i got a tip that it's alien night at the bar want to check it out no man well we're hot commodities today we really are but <laughs> Anyways, they're going to grab a drink. No, we got a drink right here. We got a drink right here, boy. Come back. <laughs> oh, my God. I honestly, I hate restaurants. I wish that they would just sit and stay seated. That would really help my life out a whole lot. Thank you. Anyways. So, they decided, you know, obviously they need to cut ties, and he's like, you know, I've been considering what am I going to do when it comes to Dalton, and, you know, how's he doing? She's like, well, you know, him and his dad, they're they're doing good, they're getting along, and they're, they're really bonding, and I don't want you to be bitter of that or jealous. He's like, no, it's his father. I understand he needs to, you know, know who his father is. It's important for, you know, a, a man to know who his father is. It can really mess him up if he doesn't. She's like, well, I'm glad you understand, and I'm really sorry that this happened. And he's like, well, can I see Dalton, you know, or can I just at least kind of, like, tell him that I'm here for him? And she's like, yeah, of course, I don't want to keep Dalton from you. I don't at all. And Carter, I, thank you for everything. You've been my rock for a long time, and I appreciate you. I really do, and I, I do love you. I did love you. I just, I want you to know that. I don't want you to think that it wasn't real. And he's like, well, evidently it wasn't, you know, real enough. <laughs> um... So anyways, I think I'm going to have them say goodbye. I'm going to have them, like, hug and, and dismiss. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back home. We're going to pretend they said their goodbyes because uh, we, we need to probably... Um, no, 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 no. Not order for table. Oh, my God. We need to end meal and pay for... End meal and pay bill. Yeah, there we go. That was a tongue twister. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm going to have him go back home because I, I did not plan on having this little meetup here. But I do want to have our Winterfest activity. So let me get them home and get them ready for Winterfest. Alrighty, so our party had already started. We actually have two hours left. I was talking this whole time, thought I was recording, realized I was not. <laughs> Typical. But anyways, it is a freaking blizzard. Everybody's having the hardest time, uh, you know, getting to us, but they finally made it. And Stevie, girl, you're about to freeze to death if you don't come inside. But looks like everybody is here. We have Scott, who, of course, you know, he didn't have to come, so it really means a lot to her that, you know, he would even come. So, I really want to know. Okay, she's she's ask, she's telling him what she wants for Christmas and all that fun stuff. we got to open presents before the party's over. I'm really pissed off <laughs> that uh, I, I missed half of the party. I was just talking and storytelling, and then, oops, he wasn't even recording. But anyways, we're going to see if we can give him a romantic hug because we're just... So I'm really thankful, like I said, that he showed up. He didn't have to, and he's like, uh, I wouldn't miss it. I really wouldn't. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the end for these two. I just, I feel like Claire just needs to get over Wyatt, and I don't know how that's possible, but anyways, Bradley, her ex-boyfriend, is here, and Carter was like, wow, Bradley, I haven't seen you in a long time, man, and she's like, oh, no, it's nothing, you know, uh... <laughs> Um, we've seen each other shopping, and, you know, just like old times figured, you know, why not? But anyways, oh, look at them. Oh, Clara, she just, ugh. She was going to go over there and talk to him, and it's kind of like Stevie knew, which, you know, Stevie's not malicious or anything. Yeah, she's, she's jealous of Clara, but she didn't do that on purpose. But anyways, Clara's like, Wyatt, thanks for coming. And he's like, are you kidding me? As if I'd miss it. As if. <sighs> All right, so anyways, can we come over here and open presents? Um, I'm just going to have Carter, Stevie, uh, Wyatt, and Scott. 
open presents just because everybody else is kind of like irrelevant honestly but oh father winter is giving us presents that's so cute but okay hurry up before the party's over um so anyways uh, once again awkward love triangle <laughs> um but okay the air fry's coming over here and they're opening their presents hopefully everybody likes it um but yeah i don't know <sighs> I, I i don't know where's she going no clara you're not going to sleep yet Come over here and open the presents. Oh, I don't think they're liking their presents. Nobody's liking their presents. Everybody's so tired and they want to go to sleep. I'm not. No, no. Um, I want him to come over here and thank Stevie for coming. Uh, Clara, can we not? Can we please just go open presents and not? We want the party to be over. Um, she has received the slablet. What is that? It's in her inventory. What is a slablet? Oh, okay. Oh, who got that for us? I don't know who got that for us, but that was really sweet. We like it. That's awesome. All right. Anyways, we're going to open another present, it looks like, but anyways, Clara is just kind of looking at Scott and realizing that, you know, he's such a great guy, and she's just... <laughs> She's so, she's so confused, y'all, I know, but she's just so thankful that he showed up and he came to the party. Like I said, he definitely did not have to do that at all, and so it means a lot that he showed up, so, um, oh my gosh, she's so sleepy, you're pissing me off, Clara, the party's over and everybody's leaving, no, oh god. Okay, look, you know what? We're going to ask Wyatt if we can talk to him. Hopefully, we can catch him before he leaves. Okay, she's like, hey, do you mind uh, so so. you staying behind? And he's like, oh, no, what, what's up? Uh, he's like, I was going to ask you anyways. Um, you know, I, I want them to come sit and chat here. Can y'all come sit and chat at the table? Or not the table, oh, my gosh, at the, on the couch so it's a little bit more realistic here. Um, your outfit, you're throwing it off. She's looking so festive, and you're not, but, you know, so why, what do you expect? But anyways, let's have a deep conversation. He's like, um, you know, I'm a little confused. <laughs> You know, Radley's over here, Scott's over here, and you and Scott were kind of, uh, didn't look like y'all were very close, or y'all still together, and she's like, well, I mean, it's confusing, um, we kind of decided that we want to be just friends for now, and he's like, really? And she's like, yeah, you know, it's just... <sighs> a lot of emotions. <laughs> it's just fresh, and I don't know if I'm, I'm ready for it, honestly. And he's like, well, if it's got anything to do with me, Claire, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have told you how I felt. Maybe I should have just, you know, left it alone. And she's like, no, no, you definitely should have told me it's important that we know, you know, these things. We're friends more than anything, and we're good, we're good. Anyways, thank you. And he's like, well, I hope you like your tablet and she's like you got me that tablet oh and he did he's like um maybe we shouldn't you know get that close you know cv's waiting on me um she's like yeah yeah i'm sorry i really am but anyways thank you for the tablet and he's like yeah well <sighs> good night good night <laughs> oh it's so awkward Oh, I hate this so much. I really, really freaking do. It looks like Carter is asleep, but he's sleeping in Wyatt's old bed. Okay, he misses his best friend, y'all. He does. <laughs> oh, I, okay, I'm confused. If you're confused, welcome to the party. I'm so confused. This girl, <laughs> oh, she's got her ex-boyfriend over here, which don't get me wrong. There's no feelings for her ex-boyfriend. It's just, it's, it's nice to, you know, have a friend. And, you know, they were friends for a long time before they were in a relationship. So let's talk real quick. I'm going to pause this and we're going to talk while they sleep. But anyways, and then Scott comes over after she, I'm going to stay true to myself. I had these feelings for Wyatt. I'm not going to be with him. Yada, yada, yada. But you know how the story goes. Oh, when you really do like somebody, but there's like all these circumstances and situations that just really complicate things, and then there he is, he shows up, he's so freaking handsome, you know, he got her a beautiful, wonderful gift, and it just, it means a lot to her, it really does, and she's so confused, and then Wyatt's there, and oh, Wyatt got her a tablet that she has been wanting, and then, you know, she went to, you know, kind of talked to him about what happened with her and Scott and decided to 
maybe not tell him because it would complicate things and she does not want to confuse him. She does not want to confuse Stevie and their relationship. She doesn't want to mess that up because she's so confused on where she is with Scott and where she is with Wyatt. Uh, she just was like, you know what? We're just going to take it slow and see where it goes and that's what's going on. And you know why? It kind of didn't buy it, but anyways... Um, yeah, she tried to, you know, kind of get close to him and give him a hug. And I think Wyatt is trying to keep his distance because of his feelings for her and the fact that, you know, him and Stevie are in a relationship now and they are trying to make it work because they have a daughter. So he kind of, you know, um, stopped her, I guess you would say, because Stevie was kind of waiting at the door, kind of watching and maybe Clara didn't realize that Stevie was still there. And he was like, yeah, I think you're welcome for the present. Uh, thanks for having us over, but we got to go pick up Ryan. And she's like, oh yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> See y'all later. But anyways, y'all, wow, what a whirlwind. What a whirlwind. I don't even know where this is going. This is literally the calm before the storm. Um, <laughs> I hope this, you know, kind of clarified some things with y'all and Clara. I know y'all are probably still confused because I'm confused. Um, I'm not trying to be confusing, but honestly, this is so realistic, right? I think all of us girls know how it is to be in this situation. <laughs> it's hard, you know, when your heart's telling you one thing and your head's telling you another, but anyways, I love Claire. I think she's relatable. I'm glad y'all like Claire. I'm glad y'all are really starting to get, you know, into this LP with me. I'm super excited. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of drama coming, I'm sure. We're just kind of building off of that momentum. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here since everybody is sleeping. I guess you would say it was a pretty successful winter fest. Um, Everybody liked their presents. Everybody had a good time. Everybody enjoyed the ham and the fudge bars. And uh, Father Winter, Clement Frost, he's still here. He's still here. He's, he's getting him some... <gasps> Is he? Oh my god, I thought that was cookies. I was like, is he getting cookies and milk? I swear. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this part, like, right now. Thank you for watching. Leave all your comment suggestions down below. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be some